And to make sure you're really relaxed, work through the body, tensing and flexing. Start with your face. Just scrunch your muscles up on your face and then do the opposite. Let them go. So scrunch them up and then just let them relax. Travel down through your body, go to your shoulders. Check your shoulders aren't tense, that you're not holding them. Let them go. Relax them. And then down through your spine to the lower spine. Place your hands on your stomach. Just press into the floor so that the lower part of the back is tucking down. Let your hands go. Part the knees a little and really scrunch those hands up and let them go. Clench them and relax. Down through your legs, down to your foot, raise your foot up, flex it and let it relax. Change feet. And let it go and lie very peacefully and be aware of breathing in very deeply as we were doing just now and exhaling and if you're still uncomfortable start all over again from the face right down to the toes and when you get up make sure you roll over onto your side so that you're supporting your body weight pushing up through your arms and then you're ready to do some chair exercises. So up you come, push through your arms, up through the curve in the spine, and sit on your chair. Now make sure that you sit well into your chair and try and support yourself as much as you can. And the very first back exercise is to place one hand over the other, and slump as if you were hit in the stomach. Push away your arms, straighten up, pulling out of the hips, let your chin go to your chest, and lower your arms. Again, push away as if hit in the stomach. Rise up, chin to the chest, stretch right up, and I'll show you that sitting sideways on. You face the front, though. Push away, curving the stomach. Rise up, straighten, and lower down. Then to relieve the tension in the shoulders and straighten the side of the back, up raise your arm and change up and down. You might only get your arm up to there as far as you can and raise each shoulder up, up and then lean to your side place your right hand onto the chair for support and just lean to your right side if that causes any twinges don't do it it might help if you place your hand behind your head and then change sides. Lean on your left hand, and then the arm behind your head. And to help the shoulders, cross the arms. And then dip the arms down, up. Elbows up and down. And ease them round and round. Now curl over your toes and up you come. Straightening up from the base of your spine, shoulders fall into place. Try that again. Curl over. Up you come. Deep breath and relax. Now for your neck and shoulders, just place your hands lightly in front of you. Incline your head to your right. Bring it up to the center and then your left. Bring it up to the center. Now let it go heavily down. Bring it up to your center 
And as your head goes back, open your mouth and up. Repeat all that to your right, incline and center, and to your left, and your center, and down, and center, mouth open, and back up. And practice turning your head to your right, to your center, and to your left. Flow it through so there are no sharp moves. And to get the mobility into the neck, just let your head go right down, elongate the neck muscles, chin to the chest, bring it back up. And doesn't that feel better? And now for some freestanding exercises. So first of all, lose the chair and be careful how you pick it up. Bend the legs. Right, come on then. Start by shaking out the legs very loosely and carefully. And the arms and shoulders. Feet and legs a comfortable distance apart. And the first exercise is to open and close those shoulders with the shoulder blades working. So let the arms fall forward. Take them back and forward and back. Ease them down so that you're opening and closing with those shoulder blades. Take your right arm across the body and back to your side. Guide it across. Don't twist any part of you. Let the shoulder and the arm do the work. Same thing with your left, across. And then take the arm a little bit further. So take your right arm, swinging it across the body and then lowering it down like that. Take it across and down, across, again don't twist, same thing with your left. down to your right side and gently out to your right side, side, a little rock place the hand back on the hip and reach down to your left side and down go directly to your side there should be no twisting. And then reach out your side. And then place your left hand behind your head, elbow back, reach up out of the hips, lean to your side. Now your hand is at the top of your thigh to help support you as you hold that stretch and then change. Over we go. And then place the hands and the arms in front at chest height, bend the legs. Now see if you can just twist. Keep your hips facing me, go as far round as you can. Remember any twinges, stop. Just ease round and then round to your other side. There. And relax. Right, come on down to the floor. We're going to work the stomach muscles because you need to strengthen up here because that will help take the weight off your back. So bend the legs and down we go.